happening. My Iron Lung by Radiohead. Um, uh, I felt like I was going to say something, but I can't remember. I did a pretty good job playing the song at the beginning, don't you think? Guys, it's just me, Stuart, here at Marin Music Center. Radiohead is here in spirit. They're not. They're not here in spirit, but uh, this is a good opportunity for me to ask you, do you believe in ghosts? Leave your answer in the comments. All right, so... We're going to, uh, there are three guitar players in Radiohead. Did you know that? Ed O'Brien, Thomas Yorkie, and um, Jonathan Greenwood. So we're going to play mostly what Johnny Greenwood plays, but we are also going to occasionally combine parts into one to have one guitar part to play throughout the entire song. So you can, so, okay. Good explanation. Also, I want to tell you that Johnny Greenwood tunes his A string down a full step to G, but we're not going to do that. It only really helps with like one part of the song. You can play it in standard tuning, so we're just going to play it in standard tuning. You don't want to have to detune for the song, do you? So let's not do it. Guys, we got to learn the introduction, which shows up many other times. We're just going to call this the, uh, what should we call it? We'll call it the introduction. How about that? It goes like this. Well, that was how the first few notes went. Um, put your middle finger on the third fret of the top string. Put your ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the bottom. Guys, this is basically a G chord, but who cares? We're gonna play the top string, then go down to the third string from the top. Bottom, hi. Guys, come on, over here, pay attention. Third fret on the top string, then go and play the third string from the bottom open, then play second string from the bottom. So that was Oh, crap. This is off to a really good start. Middle finger, third fret, top string. Ring finger, third fret, second string from the bottom. Play the top string. Play the third string from the bottom. Play the second string from the bottom. There. Okay. Then, immediately after that... I forget. Shoot. Darn it. What the heck? Immediately after that, get rid of your ring finger and play the second string from the bottom open. Then, you're going to put your ring finger on the third fret of the third string from the top and play that note, then play the third string from the bottom, open, second string from the bottom, open, then third string from the bottom, open. So those last four notes were boom, 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 boom. Guys, let's play the first eight notes. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did that make sense? This is awful. What a terrible, what a terrible life we all live. Let's just play those first eight notes all together very slowly and just try, just, I don't know, try to follow along or whatever. All right, so we've got that and that. And there we go. Three, four, and boom, bang, pow, open, third fret, open, open, open. Let's do it one more time. And top, third from the bottom, second from the bottom, open, third fret, open, open. Open. Now, uh, this would be a good time to mention that he's got an octave -er, an octave effect on his guitar, guys. So you were hearing it digitally made one octave higher. When they play it live, sometimes he has the octave effect on, sometimes he doesn't. I think it sounds good like this. If you have an octave -er pedal, then use it. Is it an octave pedal or an octave -er pedal? I thought it was octave -er, but I say that and it sounds very strange. You're strange. I'm saying that as a compliment. Then you're gonna put your pointer finger on the first fret of the third string from the top, middle finger, first fret, second string from the bottom. Guys, go ahead and play the third string from the top, then go down to the next one, then go down to the next one, then go back to the third string from the top. So that was one, two, three, four. Oh shoot, one, two, play with me. And Jimmy Junga, good job. Then we're gonna play second fret on the third string from the bottom. You're gonna play it, bend it just a little bit. So I like to use two fingers when I bend. So I put my ring finger on that second fret of the third string from the bottom, put my middle finger right behind it. I play it, just bend it, and then bring it back. Don't go too fast. Don't try to go like, just go like. So we hear all three of those notes. One, two, three. Then play that same string open. 
Guys, let's go ahead and play those first 16 notes of the song all together. One, two, iron lung, have some fun. One more time, a little slower. One, two, three, four, and it's the exact same speed. Well, I played the, I need to try harder. Immediately following that bendy part we just did, you're gonna play the first eight notes of the song again. That was just the, just play that again. Then we're gonna act like we're playing the next part as well. You're gonna put your pointer finger on one of the third string from the top, middle finger on one of the second from the bottom, but add your ring finger to the second fret of the third string from the bottom. And then you're gonna do this picking pattern. Play third string from the top, then go down to the third from the bottom, then second from the bottom, back to third from the bottom. So that was. Then take this exact same shape with your hand and move it one, two, three frets up. So now pointer fingers on four, ring fingers on five, middle fingers on four, and do the exact same picking. So that little thing right there was. Guys, we're halfway through the intro, but I wanna let you know that the second half of the intro is very similar to the first half. Let's play this whole first half of the intro one time through together. V extremely slowly, excruciatingly slow. Lee, is it slow or slow? Shut up, shut up, just play it. One, two, three, four. Excellent work. Excellent work. For the second half of the intro, you're gonna start off by playing the first eight notes again. You're probably getting pretty good at that part by now. Then you're gonna go to first fret on the third string from the top, first fret, second string from the bottom, just like before. You're gonna play third from the top, then go down to the next string, then to the next string, but then play three on the second string from the bottom. So that was. Then play this third fret on the second string from the bottom again, but then bend it up just a little bit and then bring it back down. And then play one on the second string from the bottom. This note right here, we hold out for a full beat. Every other note has only gotten one half of a beat, but this one is a full beat. So we go. Okay, at this point, you're gonna play those original eight notes one more time. Then you're gonna go back to this chord, the one with the one on third string from the top, one on second string from the bottom, go. Just like we did before. Then play second fret on the third string from the bottom, bend it, and then play open. So, guys, that's the whole intro. Let's play the entire intro. One. Two, three, four, and. Second half. I'm gonna mess it up. I can hear, I can feel it. Kinda messed it up. That ending was a little fishy. Guys, we've completed the intro to the song. What a joy and a privilege. My name is Stuart. Welcome to the channel. This this would be such a good time for you to prescribe to the channel, you guys. I have so many Radiohead songs on here. My Iron Lung is on here. Um, the hit Radiohead song, My Iron Lung, is on the channel. Also, um... The songs from their album, The Bends, is on my YouTube channel. Tutorials on guitar. 
Thanks for your support. We have made it to the verse of the song, My Iron Lung by Radiohead. Uh, in the recording, all that's happening at the beginning of the verse is Ed O'Brien is using his Ebo thing and making it go... Sorry, that was embarrassing. You guys are embarrassed of me. Sorry. I'll drop you off further from school next time. But I want to show you what Tom York does when they play it live. He goes like this. He goes... Or no, when they do it live, like acoustically. Hi, my name's Stuart. Welcome to the channel. This is what we are going to do for the verse. For the faith you do you made me wild and sing. You can do Oh, messed up. Pretty close, though. For the first half of the verse, we're gonna play the Tom York strummy part. Guys, put your middle finger, third fret, on the top string. Make sure your middle finger is also touching the second string from the top to mute it. Then the next one's open, next one's open. Then put your ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the bottom. And make sure your ring finger is also touching the bottom string to mute it. Guys, this is a G5 chord. We're just gonna strum that, hold out for four beats. Then we're gonna go to a C minor, but it's not a bar chord. Not a bar chord. This is how Tom York does it, I promise. Look, get rid of your middle finger, slide your ring finger up to the fourth fret of the second string from the bottom, put your pointer finger on the third fret of the second string from the top. Also what I do, I'm. you can mute that top string with the tip of your pointer finger. You can also just bring your thumb up and touch the top string to make sure it's muted with your thumb. You also want to make sure the bottom string is still muted by your ring finger. And it would be great if the third string from the top was muted by your pointer finger. A lot of those muted notes are just kind of going to kind of happen automatically. You don't even have to worry about it that much. Non-bar chord C minor. We're going three, two, three, four. You're driving my own way. Two, two, three, four. I'm bound, go bound, bound, bound. That's all we're going to do. Just G, C, G, C. That's it. Hey ho he. Then you're gonna go to the second part of the verse. This is where we're gonna do the Johnny Greenwood arpeggio part. Put your pinky on the third fret of the top string. Just play that top string, then play third string from the top, then third from the bottom, then second from the bottom. That was just boom, 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 bow. Then put your pointer finger on one of the third string from the top and put your middle finger on one of the second string from the bottom. And then here's what kind of sucks. You have to keep your pinky up on the third fret of the top string. Then we're gonna pick the exact same strings we did just a second ago. This is the part of the song where how Johnny Greenwood detunes his guitar pays off. Cause the way he does it, he doesn't need his pinky. He just goes. But we can't do that because we're in standard tuning. But this isn't, I mean, this is not fun, but it's not that bad, right? After you do this one, then you're gonna do middle finger, third fret on the top string, ring finger, third fret, second string from the bottom, and play the exact same strings one more time. Then finally, we get to this cool part. Pointer finger, fourth fret, second string from the bottom, Pinky, seventh fret, third string from the bottom. The tough thing about this is you can't let your pinky mute that second string from the bottom. So you just have to use the very tip of your pinky. Then you play second string from the bottom, third from the bottom, second, third, second, third, second, third. Eight notes total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Guys, let's play this whole thing right here. Are you ready? One, uh, what does that mean? We're gonna start from the arpeggio part. One, two, three, four. Whoa, uh. Karate. Oh, and then waka, 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 waka. And then we get to a part that I love dearly, which is this. It's fun. First thing you need to do is play the third fret on the top string. The way I do this is I just use my thumb. I it, try if I know that it sometimes it's not fun to use your thumb to play the top string. In this situation, it's not bad at all. Just play that note. Then you're gonna play three on the second string from the bottom, 
four on the third string from the bottom and five on the third string from the top. Try to hit just those three strings. If you can mute the other strings, that's even better because then you can hit it hard. You don't have to worry about hitting those extra open strings. So we've got thumb chord. Then you're going to play middle finger three on the second string from the bottom, pointer finger three, third string from the top, and ring finger four on the third string from the bottom, guys. You're going to play just those three strings. So again, the, for this whole part here, you can just aim for those three strings if you want, or you can just keep the top two strings muted with your thumb and keep the bottom string muted with like your pinky or other parts of these fingers. I think, uh, what do I do? I think my middle finger is muting the bottom string. How do you, how do you like that explanation? You can tell I'm really trying to help you out here. So now we've got top chord, chord, then take this exact same shape that we just did and move it one, two frets over. So now you've got pointer finger on one, ring finger on two, middle finger on one, play those three notes. And then you're gonna go one, two, three frets up. What just happened? Was that right? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Guys, if you play this chord, this one you hold out. All the other chords are short. They're staccato. You go bop. This one you go ah. Uh. So that means you go. Oh, then you do it again. And then after that, after you do that two times, just like that, we're going to go back to the. Oh, the arpeggio part again. Back to this thing. Guys, we just completed the verse to the song My Iron Lung by Radiohead. That was a lot of, too many notes in this song. I think I'm gonna write a note to Radiohead and say, guys, a couple too many notes. This is perfect about the notes. I'm just, this is what's happening. I'm killing a little bit of time because I feel like my brain and my fingers and maybe your brain and your fingers just need a second. So, and, and look, here's the deal. I have to show, let me show you this. So, I'm, there's cables in the way. I know, just give me a second. I have this here, and I just, this is what I keep doing. I keep just taking my pick, and I go. Pretty cool, right? Get out of here, Cable. Jumping Jupiter. Can you believe that guy? Let's play the whole verse all the way through. One, two, three, four, hey. You're making me go away. You think about the thing And I know you do But I know gay Oh, hey Oh, you went back to the place Hey, oh uh. And I went to outer space Then I said that I could breathe We've completed the verse. Guess what happens next? That's right. We go back to the introduction. That was the... Now, I should warn you, Johnny Greenwood does not play that part exactly the same every single time he plays it. In live versions, it's sometimes different. Whatever. We're just going to do the exact introduction. So, we're done with that. After that, we go back to the verse. And we do the verse again, guys. So, we're like halfway through the song again already today on this day of days. I gotta, I gotta get my act together. Now, here's the deal. At the very end of the second verse, at the, the very tail end of the second verse, instead of doing this, we're gonna go like this. Pointer finger, 10th fret, second string from the top. Pinky or ring finger, completely up to you, plays 12 on the third string from the bottom. Now, this is an octave, guys. We've got this. This is our octave shape. The hard thing about the octave shape is we need to make sure the top string is muted. We need to make sure the third string from the top is muted. And we need to make sure the bottom two strings are muted. When I do it, my pointer finger is doing all that muting. The tip of my pointer finger is touching the top string. You can also use your middle finger to do that if you want to. Then the pad of my pointer finger is muting that third string from the top. 
Then the bass or whatever you call this, the knuckle of my pointer finger is muting the bottom two strings. So it's top is muted, then 10, then muted, then 12, then muted, then muted. You're gonna strum this hard. Then just slide it back one fret, so now you're on nine and 11. Then slide it back another fret, so you're on eight and 10. And then slide it back another one, so you're on seven and nine. So that was. Then you're, there's a tiny little pause, and then you play six and eight. And then another little pause, and you play five and seven. I threw my pick on the ground with that last drum. Let's play that little thing together. One, two, three, four. So that's like the lead in to the big loud noisy part of the song. I don't know what to call this part of the song. Like, it's not really a chorus, but it's sort of like a chorus. We call it the interlude. I don't think it's the bridge. We're gonna call it the interlude. This is the instrumental interlude, guys. So after you do the blam, 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 we're gonna go like this. No, shut up, idiot. Flipping. The instrumental interlude goes like this. Three, four. The hardest thing about this is just making sure that strings are muted as you're playing. Guys, play for me third fret on the top string. Hit it kind of hard. So here's what you're doing. Use your middle finger to play that third fret on the top string, and then use as much of the rest of your middle fingers you can to mute the other string. So that way you can really take a swing at that top string. And even if you hit some other strings, we pretty much just hear that top string. Then, with your ring finger, play three on the third string from the bottom. Go ahead and keep your middle finger there so it can help mute all the other strings. So I'm just leaning my middle finger on all, I'm not pushing, I'm just touching all the strings with my middle finger, I'm pushing with my ring finger. So then if I strum, I only hear that one note. So we've got So it's like three, four, uh. Do that with me and rest. A one, two, here we go, rest. Then you're gonna go like this. Mute everything and go. So it's just that thunky muted sound. Then play the third fret on the top again. So you push with your middle finger, then push with your ring finger and strum again. So here's what we've got. Rest, bump, bow, mute, mute, rest, bow. Not rest, bow, thump, bow. Papa ooh mau mau, saved it, saved it. Let's play that again, starting with the octave thing up here. Are you ready? Very slowly. One, two, three, four, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, three, mute, mute, three, three. Hey, guys, what a good job. Then after the, oh, oh, I should mention, Every time you play the third fret with your ring finger, try to give it a little wiggle, like a tiny little bend, not a big bend. We're not bending the heck out of it. We're just going like, just a little wiggle, a little wiggle, guys. Okay. Then what you're going to do is keep your ring finger in the same spot, but your middle finger is going to push on the third fret of the second string from the top. So we're moving from the top string to the second string from the top. You're going to go like this, mute, mute, then strum, pushing on that third fret of the second string from the top. So it's mute, mute, three, then go back to the ring finger note. So that was mute, mute, three, three. From the beginning, it's rest, boom, bow, buck up, boom, bow, buck up, boom, bow. Then keep the ring finger pushing down, keep all the other strings muted and go one, two, three, and then top string open. So one, two, three, bow. That top string is anticipated. That means it comes a little before the beat, a little bit earlier than you expect it, and it jumps out like a ghost. It's Halloween season, guys. I got ghosts on the brain. Let's see, what does my mug have on it? Does it have a ghost on it? It has Spider-Man. Not a sponsor. Peter Parker, please sponsor my videos. Almost done, guys. So we just did the top string open. You hold that note out for just a moment. We, oi, governor, this is poppin', this is poppin'. Then you're gonna play the top string open again. Then 
mute all the others, uh, then mute all the strings except for your ring finger on that third string from the bottom again. Strum that again, then go down, up, top string open, ring finger note. So confusing. Look, that was bow, 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 baka, bow, bow. It's hard to play just that part. Uh, by itself. Let's take it back from the beginning of this instrumental interlude, starting from the octaves. And this part's this part's stuff to explain. It's got a lot of rhythm to it. Let's just play it a couple more times together slowly, then we'll do it a couple times faster. One, two, nice and slow. And a ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, rest. One more time, same speed. One, two, three, four. <laughs> At this point, you just go back up to the octave thing, you go. Exactly the same again. Then you do the same thing again. You just play that whole interlude thing those times in a row. It's Spanish for two. Surprised you didn't know that. Guys, once you get comfortable playing this with the rhythm we just discussed, then you can feel free to add more muted strings. You can get a little wild and crazy. Unacceptable. Johnny Greenwood loves to get wild and crazy with his guitar playing. When I play it, I think I do more like a... See, it's just a, a little more loosey-goosey, guys. But start, don't try, I mean, you can, okay. I don't, you didn't ask for my advice on how loosey-goosey you could, should be. You could be as loosey-goosey as you want. So after you play that, we go back to the intro again. I gotta get tuned up. Then you play the verse again. Then you go back into the musical interlude. Oh, and you do that whole thing again. Then there's a guitar solo. Guess what? I'm not gonna teach you the guitar solo. I don't like guitar solos. I mean, they're fine. I'm just, I don't like playing them. And so I just, I only do it when I absolutely have to. Like, I'm gonna do my Gingy soon, or maybe I've already done that, I don't know. But, um, I, I have to teach the solo to that one. Do you guys know that song, My Gingy by Sunset Roller Coaster? More on that later. We're, we're talking about My Iron Lung by Radiohead, guys. So, like, now I just have to show you the, the ending part. The part that goes like, And I'm excited, are you excited? So it's just some bar chords and stuff. So you just do pointer finger first fret on the second string from the top. Mute the top string if you possibly can with the tip of your pointer finger. You can kind of smash down on all the strings. It's not a big deal. Then with your ring finger, play three on the third string from the top. And then it's a really great opportunity to practice this terrible, terrible, terrible chord. Take your ring finger and smash it down like that. So it's pushing on the next three strings. It's pushing on third from the top, third from the bottom, and second from the bottom. B flat bar chord. Literally my least favorite card on the jator. What is this thing called? This is a chord. This is a guitar. I'm stupid. You're stupid. You're not. I'm, I get defensive sometimes when I make fun of myself. What? That doesn't even make any sense. The strumming rhythm on this chord is just going to be down, down, up, down, down, down. Down, down, up, down, down. Here we go. Down, down, up, down, down. Take this B flat chord, move it one, two frets over. So your pointer finger is now on three. Now it's a C chord, do the same thing. And move it one fret over to the fourth fret. Now it's a D flat chord. Then go back to the third fret, the C chord. You do that twice in a row. Well, you know, that's not true. You did it, you do it 1.75 times. After you do it, you, you go B flat, C, D, then you go first fret, third fret, fourth fret, and then we go. And we do that whole part again. And you end it by going. 
not true that's not entirely true they when they end it they play a some a slightly different chord at the end but it basically sounds like this and they've got like 18 different things going on at this point so we're just gonna go you play that fifth fret octave and you just slide off and it just ends very suddenly and that's how you play my iron lung guys you put me in a bad mood